these various characters, especially, of course, Will Trent and Angie Pulaski, they have such a deep connection. They have such a, a history together. And um, interestingly enough, even though they've known each other since childhood and they're kind of like closer than siblings because they grew up together, but they're also lovers, their, their adult friends and associates aren't aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, which is fascinating. And then their work crisscrosses and they both made their way from abused childhoods to law enforcement, which is an interesting path. You know, it's, it definitely means that their hearts are in the right place. Um, so anyway, it, it was just, I, I was just, the characters sold me. There is such a depth and um, a darkness. I mean, not like, not darker than real life, but you know, there's, there's a real, there's a groundedness. And then there's a bunch of humor that pops through and it's just so funny to see the writers are, are doing such a good job at, at navigating that where, you know, the cases they catch are pretty awful sometimes, of course. And then, um, but then there's workplace humor. <laughs> and, there's, and there's all kinds of funny things which with the way that Will interacts with the world around him. The fun factor is, uh, well, Angie gets assigned a new partner in, uh, in the very first episode and they don't get along very well, but uh, but then you have to care for each other as as partners, and so their dynamic is very amusing to me. Liz Heldens had written about Angie in the beginning. Um, Angie thinks you're an idiot, and I, it was like I was just like, oh yes, <laughs> Angie thinks you're an idiot. You all, everyone. Um, but but uh, to see there's there's a bickering relationship between a detective Pulaski and detective Ormwood that I think people are definitely gonna enjoy and and hopefully laugh at. Mm -hmm.